And former President Donald Trump is also campaigning. Uh, he's over in the Midwest today. He's looking to pick up voters in two highly coveted battleground states. His first stop will be this afternoon in Potterville, Michigan, before hosting a town hall in La Crosse, Wisconsin, later this evening. We're going to bring in now CBS News chief election and campaign correspondent Robert Costa. He's in Wa uh, Washington with more for us. So, Bob, what can we expect from the former president out on the campaign trail today? It's good to be with both of you. Former President Trump has told me in recent weeks that he is really putting a focus on the industrial Midwest, just like in 2016, when that region of the country powered his victory and enabled him to become president of the United States. He believes that once again, a coalition in those states that includes some former Democrats, independents, and of course, Republicans will be able to help him lift above Vice President Harris in the Electoral College. At the same time, because he has some strength with some members of labor unions there with some working voters, you see the Harris campaign looking to Georgia, looking to Arizona and other parts of the country. But they, of course, are also playing in the Midwest. And, and this is a place where Trump believes the issue of trade in particular, which has been part of his bailiwick of political issues for a long time, is really going to resonate with voters. That's why he keeps going back there again and again. Well, let's talk about honoring fallen soldiers. Trump is facing criticism for his visit to Arlington on Monday. Of course, this is hallowed ground for service members' families of, of any political affiliation, but there's no politics allowed there. Is Trump's effort to honor one soldier's family backfiring? We're going to see how this episode plays out in terms of an investigation or a review at Arlington National Cemetery. Uh, which is part of the military apparatus in the United States, a sacred place, as you say. I was actually at Arlington National Cemetery the morning former President Trump was there, standing near the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. I did not go to Section 60, where Trump went with some of the families who had uh, relatives killed during uh, recent wars in the Middle East. And that was where this incident occurred. Uh, there is some video that has emerged provided by the Trump campaign of him with the families at the grave sites, at the burial sites. At the same time, we have not seen any video evidence at this time of any kind of altercation. But there does seem to be an acknowledgement from both sides that there was some kind of verbal or even physical standoff. Uh, we're going to try to collect more facts about exactly what happens. Uh, the Trump people have denied there was any kind of wrongdoing on their part, saying they were invited by the families. Uh, but those who are part of the Arlington National Cemetery system clearly had some concerns about the former president being there with a photographer, with some of his campaign advisors. Uh, this is something that really is going to be uh, centered upon what we learn from evidence, photos, videos that hopefully emerge in the coming days to provide some clarity about what exactly happened at Arlington National Cemetery. Um, Bob, uh, we know that Trump has been ramping up his attacks on Harris. Um, that's to be expected at some level, but he was actually posting some crude remarks about the former prosecutor's political career on his social media platform. Uh, how is that being received by voters? Is the Trump campaign concerned that these sorts of attacks uh, might be accompanied by some blowback? The Trump campaign is certainly not concerned. This is a part of their strategy. Trump always raises questions about people's past, their personalities, their alleged conduct or at times misinformation, false claims on social media. This has been part of how he has operated politically for a long time. And the Trump campaign knows this. And it's not like they are hand wringing inside of the Trump high command about former President Trump and what he's doing on true social at the same time. Some Trump advisors don't believe this is entirely helpful to the Trump campaign. But they believe that there is something to be said about Trump making these kind of attacks because it rallies his own base. Uh, but this is part of politics today. And there are Republicans and Democrats who look at these kind of attacks and say it's an entirely unnecessary uh, and wrong to wade into this kind of territory. Former President Trump, however, uh, finds uh, no concern based on my reporting about what he's doing. He actually is choosing to do this, and it is part of his campaign. All right, Robert Costa, thank you. Thank you.